Hey guys and thank you for tuning into my channel again. This video is basically going to be five tips on how to get back at the narcissist. Now um, this may seem petty to some people and um, to each his own and to others they say don't even try to play a game with the narcissist or don't try to step in a ring with them because you're going to lose every time and yada 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 um i feel like <laughs> personally the more that i understood about the narcissist the more that i felt like i could actually step in the ring with them now whether i wanted to now that would be the the appropriate question but could i step in a ring with them absolutely you know why it actually became laughable to me after a certain while because once you really understand how their mind works they become very predictable i can almost read this person like a book and know exactly how they would react to things and this came with much understanding about narcissism but anyhow let's um go ahead and jump into the five things that I have on my list. All right, the first thing that I have on here is live a happy life, uh, be unbothered and successful. You know, this goes for anyone in life that counted you out, put you down, disrespected you. If you want to um, have revenge, live a happy life, like authentically, not nothing fake or phony. All right, so being unbothered by them, like dusting them off your shoulders, that's what I mean in that case. And then actually going on and doing better without them. <laughs> that's definitely a win. All right, then number two, I have don't ever give them, you know, your emotions, good or bad. And don't take the bait when they try to reel you in to get those reactions from you. If you can stay bland and almost emotionless, it will it will get under their skin. You know, they don't have that control and power over you. And they may even know that you're doing it on purpose, but who cares? <laughs> they didn't get that that supply that they wanted. Uh, number three on my list is discard them first or basically dump them first and never look back. Um, actually, this is one way to get their attention because they hate to lose in a certain sense. And they're used to being this serial discarder or, you know, dumping people all the time. So if they get dumped, that's, that's going to probably cause a uh, narcissistic injury. And what will happen is they'll probably try to get back with you and sweet talk you to the moon if you allow it to get back with you just so that they can then be the ones to dump you. And that's about control and their attachment issues and not wanting to be the one that's being left. But So it's important, you know, if you discard them, uh, don't take them back because they're just doing it to uh, dump you and get back at you and never look back. <laughs> that would be throw saw on the moon. So not only did you dump the narcissist, you never even look back or checked on them no matter how many times they messaged you, stalked you, tried to call you, try to pop up here and there. You act like you don't even you never even seen them a day in your life never talk to them a day in your life yeah trust me they're going to be bothered by that um, number four on my list is mirror them back to themselves um, this would require you to uh, behave narcissistically or you know selfishly um, treat them the way they would treat you instead of you treating them the way that you treat them start mirroring things back to them and see if they want to stick around you they won't you'll cause a ton of narcissistic injuries and that's if they allow you to continue to mirror themselves back to them because they're doing it to you when they first meet you they're mirroring you to them so that you'll think that you've just met your most compatible match <laughs> 
They certainly wouldn't want you to mirror back their true selves. All right. And the last number five on my list I have is offer supply, but never deliver it. <laughs> it's, it's funny. And um, timing is like really awesome with this one. If you can hold off until the most last second with it and then let them down. Um, this will certainly cause a narcissistic um, injury. But, you know, if you really had them convinced that you were going to uh, give them this supply and then at the last second you didn't, you certainly got back at them. Now, what will they do in return? Um, it depends on the power that you give them over your life. Um, they may try to find a way to, of course, punish you for that. But... You could uh, refer back to number three and disregard, discard them first and never look back. And they really wouldn't have that opportunity in a typical setting. And I'm just saying typical right now because obviously these things that I'm telling you right now, it's, it's not for situations where this narcissist is threatening your life. There's domestic violence, you know, um... Or someone's trying to kill you, obviously don't entertain this on any level. But I'm going to be honest with you. After I learned about narcissism, at that point, it just became a question of, you know, do I want to deal with this person or not? Because as I've mentioned in some other videos, we conceived a child. And knowing, you know, who this person really is, it's like, ugh, like who wants to deal with that? Who wants to deal with that considering how things came about um but it was laughable because i basically could read this person like a book <laughs> i felt like a psychic at that point so um uh yeah so yeah i did it wasn't nice but uh there were times where i certainly took advantage of understanding narcissism very well and um i decided to give him a little bit of the mind fuck that he had been giving me and i'm quite sure that i probably caused the most narcissistic injuries or the highest levels of narcissistic injury to this person than anyone else but it was very deserving and and i definitely have no regrets about that but yeah, these are the five ways to get a little get back and just to go ahead and quickly sum, sum them up. Live a happy life, be unbothered and successful. That's number one. Number two, don't ever give them your emotions, good or bad. And don't take the bait when they try to reel you in when, once they realize you're not giving them these emotions that they want so badly, okay? Number three, Discard them first and never look back. All right. And don't fall for the okie doke when they try to get you back so that they can then dump you. Number four is mirror them back to themselves. When uh, they come around, treat them the way they, they would treat you. I bet you they wouldn't want to be around then. And lastly, offer supply, but never deliver it. And like I mentioned before, timing is like so golden with getting your getting the most bang for your buck out of this one. Um, wait till the very last minute and um, do it in such a calm, collective way as well. All right. <laughs> so, you know, those are my five tips. And I know people may have something negative to say about this video. I really don't care. But we're all human and you know like i said i have to be honest after i learned a lot about narcissism um there were several times where i had fun um picking with this person and and honestly i don't even believe they realized that i was mind fucking them and that made it all more uh enjoyable to me so if you like this video, you can go ahead and click like. If you don't like it, hey, dislike it. Do what you want. If you have any questions or comments, say it down in the video in the uh, comment section. 
and um, I'll definitely be putting up more videos. There's definitely more tips that I could give with this.